Future of Wild Works is a nonprofit providing interactive wildlife education programs to increase public understanding of nature and animals that call this area home, while also providing lifetime quality care to non-releasable animals. So here with us now is Megan Platt and Nicole Wilson, Assistant Director of Nature of Wild Works and Director of Animal Care. So um, I'm in between some two crazy animals today. Who did you guys bring with you today? Uh, so this is Morticia, and her sister Wednesday is actually back oh, there. Oh, there's another one in there? <laughs> yes. Wednesday, come, Wednesday, but uh, she's a little more shy than her sister Morticia, and they are opossums. Okay, so we say the O. Yes, it, it's it not is just the O. Possum, it's <laughs> opossum. Right, so how did Wednesday and Morticia uh, come into your eyes' care? Um, so sadly, their mom was hit by a car and did not survive, and they were still in the pouch. Oh, and wow. And um, their eyes were not open yet, and so they needed a lot of hands-on care. And because of that, they got pretty habituated to people. And so we decided it was best to keep them in our care, and now they get to be educational ambassadors. Yes. Um, Morticia over here, <laughs> she likes little pets. Uh, and uh, she's not... Yes. <laughs> there was a possum, an opossum at my house, and I was terrified of it. But Morticia is the sweet little lady. She is. <laughs> All right. And to, to my right, I'm not going to make uh, eye contact. <laughs> Who do you have to my right? This is Dragon. Oh, my He's goodness. a red-tailed and he's very, very friendly. He actually believes he's a person, uh, which is the reason he lives at our wildlife center is when he was a baby bird, he fell out of his nest. He sees himself on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, right he does. Now. <laughs> um, so he fell out of the nest and someone came across him and they scooped him up and wanted to help him. And at the time they didn't know the best thing you can do for a baby bird is to put him back in the oh. tree. So they took him home and they fed him. Ah. And his brain says, whatever feeds me is my mom, so I am what mom is. So he thinks he's a person. Oh my goodness. Um. Okay, so <laughs> birds are my biggest fear. They're, a lo look, like, look at that mouth, that head yeah. movement. But he, we can touch him, right? Yes, yeah, so he likes right on the chest there. Oh, just like my, my dog Waylon. I can take <laughs> this guy home. Oh my goodness, he's so soft. Yeah. All right, so what is the plan with all of these critters here? How do you guys help them? What's the goal? So um, we do lifetime care. So all of these animals will live with us for their entire lifetime. So we take care of them. Um, from as soon as they get to us until their old age, which hopefully is a long time from now. Um, and in the same time, we also do education. So we take them to schools and different places, and then we educate on the species so people know how to interact and coexist with them. Right, the right. Okay, well, we might not run into, this is a red-tailed hawk. Yes. We might not run into the red-tailed hawk very often, but <laughs> opossums, yes. yes. We run into those... <laughs> Many, many times. I've, I've had a few at my house. What do you teach people about the opossums? How do we live with these guys? So we always tell people to respect nature from a distance. Um, you never want to approach wildlife, uh, even though they aren't going to go after you. If you approach them and try to touch them, they are going to bite you. Sure. Um, and so we just try to teach people how to coexist peacefully with them. If you don't want them in your backyards, close your trash She's cans, escaping. keep your dog food and cat food inside and locked in containers and don't leave water out because water is what mostly attracts animals to come into your backyard. So That's if you don't want them there, then keep that not outside. That's what they want. I know yeah. Morticia uh, doesn't have very good eyesight. She's not going to fall off that table. No, is she? I'm okay. keeping an eye on her. <laughs> All right, so you guys just uh, you recently completed a permanent home project for the animal. So tell us about that. Uh, so yes, we just moved to the area about two years ago. Our organization started about 30 years ago in Los Angeles. And we moved out here. And so we've just completed their permanent housing, which is very expansive enclosures um, for them to have a lot of space and room to move around. And they have a lot of shelving and everything. And then we also have what's called a play yard or an exercise yard, um, where we're still Still working on building the new one, but they'll get to take turns and switch in and out of it to have a really, really big space to run around and enjoy a different space. What other kinds of animals are you caring for right now? Uh, so we do have one 20-year-old mountain lion. Oh my goodness! Yeah, um, we have bobcats, African serval, 
Uh, we have smaller critters like prairie dogs, ferrets. We have lots of foxes. We yeah. have nine foxes right now. Uh, hedgehogs. So all kinds of things. You got a whole little zoo there. Yeah. All right. So if people want to come visit you, they want to tour. They want to. They want to meet these crazy critters. How do they do that? Uh, so you just give us a call or you go online and look at our website, which lists all of our tours. And what we do is we only do private scheduled tours. Got it. Yeah. So we don't want to overwhelm. I mean, while th these people, these, these people, these animals are uh, used to people. We don't want to overwhelm them. If somebody, if a school wants to book you, how do they do that? Uh, once again, give us a call or email us, and we bring our animals to, to the school. To you, yeah. just like just like here on the show. Well, we <laughs> conquered my fear of birds today. Thank you guys so much. We'll have all the information online. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. All right, coming up, an adventure across the world, and it can all be planned at one place. Elite Global Journeys takes us through the Mantis Collection after the break.